News of the Islamic State's use of a sex slave app broke Wednesday morning and revealed the 12-year-old virgin is up for sale. So far, the price of a young girl's life is $12,500. With each new report of ISIS's crimes against humanity, the world grows a little dimmer. But what really shrouds humanity in darkness is the world's lack of action against the terrorist organization. Missile attacks and raids aren't enough when bombs are going off in Paris, threats are made against the Pope, and the world's largest nations have to fight terror on their own soil. We lived through the Holocaust. We were so shocked at the atrocities that some people still refuse to believe it ever happened. Yet here the world sits as children are sold as sex slaves, the Yazidi people are driven to genocide, children are brainwashed into triggering bombs, and men are beheaded for sport. Where are the nations who cried never again? Where are the first world protesters demanding action against one of the greatest threats to humanity since World War II? While the world is caught up in comparably insignificant politics, billions of refugees are literally dying to escape the horrors of Daesh, and we're turning them away. If the UN can't be bothered to stop the most abhorrent terrorist group the world has ever seen, what's the point? Thank you for watching our exclusive California Network Daily Briefing. Please subscribe to our channel and tell us how much you like our news in the comments below.